Top 10 Most Beautiful Cities in Namibia Hello Desplorers! Welcome to another informative video presented to you by Desplorer and thanks for watching. In this video, we shall explore the top 10 most beautiful cities in Namibia. Namibia is a country in Southern Africa, bordered by the Atlantic Ocean, Zambia, Angola, Botswana and South Africa. Although it does not border Zimbabwe, less than 200 meters of the Zambezi River separates the two countries. The driest country in Sub-Saharan Africa, Namibia has been inhabited since early times by the San, Damara and Namo people, followed by the Bantu, hence the cultural richness of the country. Besides the cultural intensity of this arid nation, tourism has been a major contributor to Namibia's GDP, creating tens of thousands of jobs directly or indirectly and servicing over a million tourists per year. The country is a prime destination in Africa because of its ecotourism, sport, trophy hunting which features Namibia's extensive wildlife. These extensive tourist destinations are spread over 13 cities, which houses the bits and pieces that make up the full package of Namibia's beauty. Hence, without any fraction of bias, here are the top 10 most beautiful cities in Namibia. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Number 10. Gobabis Gobabis is a city in eastern Namibia which serves as the regional capital of the Omaheke region and the district capital of the Gobabis electoral constituency. The town is 113 km from the Buitpo's border post with Botswana and serves as an important link to South Africa on the Tarachan Skalahari Highway. Gobabis is in the heart of the cattle farming area. In fact, Gobabis is so proud of its cattle farming that the statue of a large Brahman bull with the inscription Cattle Country greets visitors to the town. With the convenience of its own airport, visitors to Gobabis will face no traveling hurdles. Gobabis continues to grow as a town due to goods being transported from the mines of landlocked Botswana to the Namibian port of Walvis Bay, and furthermore from the consumer goods being imported into Namibia from Gauteng in South Africa through the Transkalahari Corridor. Number 9. Odja Odja is a city of 6,000 inhabitants in the Konene region of Namibia, which is the district capital of Odja constituency. The town founded by Germans under the command of Colonel Theodor von Leuten in 1897 as a small military base is best known as the main gateway to Etosha National Park. The local historical museum, the Frank House Museum, the Nolila Monument, the Water Tower Odja, the Vinga Clip and many other citywide monumental artifacts hold historic and city remnants more than any other city in Namibia. But if the historic struggles of the city are not how you like your travel spree, then the Yuga River just south of the city which is also of Namibia's biggest is one way to go. Or you can explore the Gamkarab Cave known for its stalactite, stalagmites and petersite. Number 8. Mariental Mariental is a city in south-central Namibia connected to the trans namib railway line from Windhoek to Kitmanshuk. It lies near the Hardab Dam, the largest reservoir in Namibia. Mariental is a bundle of joy from its ethnic occupants, who are some of the most welcoming in the country, to its natural landscapes and desert-like features. This is one of the highest playgrounds for the tourists looking for an exclusive quiet good time. With all these beauties in the city, the town and the surrounding area are in a hot arid region, and if you cannot handle the heat, get out. And hey, there are plenty more cities to tour and who knows, the next one might just be your wonderland. Number 7. Grootfontein Grootfontein is a city in the Ojozonjupa region of the central Namibia and is one of the three towns in Otavi Triangle. Besides being the home of Namibia's main military base, it also has an airfield that can handle large transport carriers, such as the Hercules C-130, as well as commercial passenger aircraft. The city is very green in summer but drier in winter, while in spring, jacaranda and flamboyant trees bloom in profusion, painting the city's horizon into a work of art only the likes of Gerard Rich's paintbrush could paint. This dolomite country and the carbonate deposits in the upper parts of the mine have yielded interesting fossils of simian or pongoid creatures that lived millions of years before modern humans evolved. 24 kilometers west of the Great Fountain lies the huge Hubba meteorite which at over 60 tons is the largest known meteorite on Earth, as well as being the largest naturally occurring mass of iron known to exist on the planet's surface. Number 6. Ojiwarongo 
just like its name translates a beautiful place, Wajiwarongo is an embodiment of undiluted beauty. Situated in the central north of Namibia on the Transnami Railway, it is the biggest business center for Ojozonjupa region. Ojiwarongo's links between Windhoek, the Golden Triangle of Otavi, Tumep and Groot Fontaine, and Etosha National Park serves as a great center stopover for tourists. It is one of Namibia's fast-growing towns with a neat and peaceful quality environment, and many excellent facilities including supermarkets, banks, lodges, and hotels. Some of Namibia's best-known private game farms and nature reserves are located in and around the town. Ojiwarongo is one of Namibia's towns with a large population of German-speaking people, with German influence also evident in its Germanic buildings. Number 5. Omaruru Omaruru is a city in the Orongo region of central Namibia, situated near Mount Orongo on the usually dry Omaruru River. Known as bitter milk because of the cattle in the town that used to browse on a local bush that turned their milk bitter, Omaruru is also known for its annual festival where the Herero people commemorate their past local chiefs, its winery, and for the dinosaur footprints at nearby Ojihanem Pere. As a city recovering from a cross genocide brought upon it a hundred years ago, it's such travel therapy to see evidence of the city's progress ever since. Whether taken from a flying chopper or up close, the essence of the city's wildlife, quintessential beauty, all than contemporary infrastructure as well as its natural environment, is always a sight to behold and living. Number 4. Hentis Bay If you are a fan of a holiday by the water or a home with a shoreline view, make sure you stop at Hentis Bay. Hentis Bay is a coastal town in the Ronga region of western Namibia and an important holiday settlement. The town is predominantly a tourist destination for anglers and 4x4 enthusiasts. Its property market has expanded significantly since the late 90s, particularly for upmarket holiday accommodation, given its visiting populace. This West National Coast Recreation Area has a few restrictions, particularly for driving off-road on the beach and across the plains. This lures tourists into the area but puts a burden on the sensitive environment. Specifically in danger are the lichen fields, which take decades to recover from tracks cut through them, and the Damara Turn, which is endemic to the skeleton coast and threatened by habitat loss. A new multi-million dollar tourism center was inaugurated in October 2016 on the coast, which has only increased the city's appeal. Number 3. Walvis Bay Walvis Bay in Namibia and the name of the bay on which it lies is the second largest city in Namibia in terms of population and the largest coastal city in the country. The city covers a total area of 29 km square of land which provides a safe haven for sea vessels because of its natural deep water harbor protected by the Pelican Point Sand Pit, being the only natural harbor of any size along the country's coast. Being rich in plankton and marine life, these waters also drew large numbers of southern right whales, attracting whalers and fishing vessels. The harbor's value in relation to the sea route around the Cape of Good Hope had caught the attention of world power since it was discovered by the outside world in 1485, which explains the complicated political status of Walvis Bay down the years. Walvis Bay, with its large bay and sand dunes, is an important center of tourism activity, with attractions such as the artificial bird island, center of a guano collection industry, the dune 7 sand dune, the salt works, the abundant bird life, a museum and several luxury resorts. Tourism has had an increasing influence in the town's economy, with international tourists arriving at its airport and port facilities. Number 2. Swakopmund Swakopmund is a city on the coast of western Namibia, situated in the Namib Desert, and is the fourth largest population center in Namibia. Swakopmund is a beach resort with exemplary German colonial architecture laced around the city. Founded in 1892 as the main harbor for German Southwest Africa, as of the 1970s, German influences remained evident, including German street names, a German daily newspaper, and a German language being spoken by some residents. Attractions in Swakopmund include Swakopmund Museum, the National Marine Aquarium, a crystal gallery, and spectacular sand dunes near the Langstrand south of the Swakop River. 
outside the city, the Rosemont Desert Golf Course is one of the only five old grass desert golf courses in the world. And nearby is a farm that offers camel rides to tourists and the Martin Luther's team locomotive, dating from 1896 and abandoned in the desert. Number 1. Windhoek Windhoek is the capital and largest city of Namibia, located in central Namibia with an ever-increasing population due to continual influx from all over Namibia. The city developed at the site of permanent hot spring, known to the indigenous pastoral communities, is now the social, economic, political and cultural center of the country. Nearly every Namibian national enterprise, governmental body, educational and cultural institution is headquartered there. With natural and man-made features which is so breathtaking, Windhoek is not only the most beautiful city in Namibia, but one of the most gorgeous and exotic Southern African cities. There you have it this Paris, those were the top 10 most beautiful cities in Namibia. Thanks for watching this video, and if you did enjoy this video, to what to give it a thumbs up, do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.